Hello, YouTubers. Skip is Zoe here with a very special, okay, very special app review. Now, the name of this um, app is called Droid at Screen. Now, I'm not kidding you. Droid at Symbol Screen. I will be putting a link to it in the description. And basically, what it does is it takes, uh, uses the Android SDK and take screenshots of your um, Android screen. So, I mean, it's not going to be fluent as rooting your phone and having the screencast app doing it for you. Um, Android SDK allows you to use this app without rooting a phone. And because you're not rooting it, it does not void the warranty on the phone whatsoever, being you are using the SDK, which is really... I'm assuming used for development of apps and stuff for the Android um, phone. So, first thing you're going to do, and now I'm going to, this is going to be in the video. Uh, this is a video I already took using uh, Droid at Screen. Uh, this video is going to show you how to uh, activate what's called USB debugging. Okay, and what you're going to have, you have to have this active on your Droid phone in order to use Droid at screen. So here's the clip on how to do it. Moving on. Um, then, once you have that activated or checked or whatever it is your phone has, um, you're going to go to this site. You're going to come down to the bottom. Doopy doopy doo. Well, not to the bottom, bottom. And you're going to download Droid at Screen 1.0.1. Now, here's the thing you need Java. If you don't have Java, Google Java and download Java, okay? Really, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I really have to go into detail about how to download Java, son, you really shouldn't be having the computer right now, should you? <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, so, yes, if you have Java, that's all you need for this. And then, you have to come. And let me just do a zoom in on this, just to make sure so people don't run in the comments. Oh, but what do I click? Droid at screen dot uh, one dot zero dot one jar okay all right so you all see that now moving on then you go to this site and it is called developer dot android dot com slash sdk slash index dot html whatever that, that'll be in my description too now <coughs> what you're going to want to download is android sdk r18 windows zip all right Download now. I don't recommend the installer because unless you're planning to go full into making Android apps, you really don't need the installer. And I'll explain to you why in a mo in a moment. And then, as you can see, here's the Mac version and then the Linux version. Now, there's instructions on how to install this on Mac and Linux as well, I believe. So now, once you download it, let's see if I still have it on my desktop. All right, you'll see it right here. Android SDK, you're going to unpack it, okay, into a folder. I have it in here. Android SDK win those. Oh, dirt. <laughs> and once you do that, you're going to come into SDK manager.exe and install it. Okay, now this is going to load up. And what you're going to do is like I said if you just want to get droid at screen working all you do is uncheck this make sure all these are unchecked and just make sure that Android SDK platform dash tools is checked and you just click uh, install one package one or more packages now what you're gonna do is uh, let me find my droid plug okay I have to unplug that because if I 
start the uh, jar file up, it's going to load up my Android screen, which I don't want yet. So now here it is, you're going to click on here. Now when you first, okay, here's, listen to me closely, when you first start this, it's going to ask, where is the ADE file location? Or ADV, I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. ADV file location. Now, what you're going to tell it is, depending on where you z unzip the um, SDK, it's the, um, the SDK platform tool should have been installed into that same folder that you unzipped the uh, Android SDK into. Now, ADV executable path. Okay, here. I'm just going to show you this. Now, let's just pretend this is what you see when you first start it up, okay? What you're going to do is click here. You're going to go to, it'll start you in uh, platform tools. Or it might actually start you in the C drive. So all you do is just go to uh, Android SDK, uh, click on that folder, go to uh, platform tools. And once you do that, you'll see it right about here, adb.exe. Now, if you do not see platform tools, go back to step one and launch the SDK manager and install what I told you to install, the SDK profile uh platform tools. Okay, now, once you do that, the last and final step, which you've all been waiting for, is to plug in your phone. And if all works right, and you hear Droid has a heart attack, alright, and here it is, voila. Now let me, um, small in this, so it can fit on the screen. Really? No, small one. So once it configures itself, it should start up. Now you can have it whatever size you want, but I'm for the sake of this review, I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, okay. So here you go. Oh, it went dark. <laughs> yes, when the lock, when the LED goes out, uh, the, this responds to that. Okay. And here from that video is where you say you have the USB debugging enabled. So here's my home screen. Beautiful as ever. Yes, I love it. Now, like I said, you can see how laggy it is. Um, on the bottom, you can see where it says 1.5 megabits per second. And it's coming out as 1339 or 315, whatever. It's jumping all over milliseconds. Uh, in this version, no, 1.0.1, there is no way to adjust the frame rate. Uh, frame rate really it depends on the phone. It varies by phone. So, now I'm going to show you a few things. Um, if this withdraws stops, I think I'm going to launch something so it won't do that no more. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, you, you have to deal with the droid, it's not uh, the lag, it's not good for gaming. So, like, if you wanted to do an Angry Birds review, forget it, you ain't doing it. It's gonna look horrible, alright? Uh, if you want a better one, a near-perfect one, root your phone and go download screen, uh, screencast from the uh, Android market. But this, for those that don't want to root their phone, avoid their warranties, you know, and want something completely reversible, this is it right here, okay? And, you know, here I go, I'm going to launch another one of my apps. Alright, if it launches. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Uh, let's la launch the Android market. So you see how that went. Uh, the only thing I'm going to suggest to you guys, if you're going to show someone how to do something, like let's say in that little menu that I just popped up, press and hold it if you can. Let it highlight and then let, and then let it go to access it. This way when people are watching your videos, they'll, they'll see what you're clicking on. Because normally, they won't see that. They won't see this. See what I mean? 
you skip the whole part where I just open this up to get back to there. So, just just a little uh, skip is always suggestion. <laughs> now, I am using the Android Razer Max. Uh, this I'm not guaranteeing it to work for every phone or every other type of Android device. It might. Give it a shot. You never know. Uh, let me show you some key features here. Let's see. Uh, here changes the landscape of it. So if you access an app, oh phone really? <laughs> Let me just show you real quick. I got a new case for my phone too, and it's hard to press the power button. All right. So now I'm in the Android market. I turn my phone sideways. Look what happens. How do we fix this? Just like that. Voila. And you just scroll like normal. Alright. So that's what that's for. Now this is for flipping it upside down. Now I'm assuming if an app does require, or for some reason runs upside down, that can fi this can fix it. <laughs> okay. I, I don't ask me. I don't know why anyone would want that. Now this, I just gotta keep moving the screen. Uh, this obviously sets the scale on how big the screen you want. Uh, this one takes an actual picture of your screen. Of your screen, and if you uh, click it, it'll ask where do you want to save it. And you just sell so everything self-explanatory, really. So you click save, and blah blah, it gets saved. This works the same way, except think of it like a multi-shot on a camera. What's go what this is going to do is it's going to every new screenshot that this program produces, it is going to be saved. If you use the um, uh, continuous um, screenshot, and of course this uh, displays all device properties, and so on and so forth. So, really, I love this um, program. Droid at screen. I recommend it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You know, I hope this is very helpful. I'm sorry if it was a little bit confusing, but I'm the type of person that likes to make sure that you guys understand everything. And I'm going to make the official announcement now for my next app review. If I can get away with it. <laughs> the next app review is going to be the Steam app. So yes, look forward to that. That should come out tonight as well. This is Skipazoa, and I am out. Links for the uh, Droid at screen. I know I'm out already, but <laughs> links for the Droid at screen and the SDK are going to be in the uh, comment section below or in the description. So check them out. Whatever you know, like I said, need help. Yeah, if you need help, um, leave comments, PM me, whatever. All right. So this is Skipazoa and out. Finally, out.